We've talked about family. We've talked about having sex with them. Oh, uh, hi, John. I'm just interrupting to instill some fear and to humiliate Bob here. Okay. Uh, I would say, John, while you're here, um, can I uh, pop by your office, uh, say, around five-ish to kiss your ass until it's soda cracker white? Sure. Uh, Bill, do you want to shove your tongue up my ass and give it a few twirls? Absolutely. I'd give you a hand job and a stationary closet if it meant a good review. Great. Well, carry on, you overpaid jackasses. Go to hell. Well, uh, sorry to be demeaned in front of you. Uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, uh, I've tried to cram as many ideas as I can into this brief uh, because I'm, I'm really too weak and too stupid uh, to make a decision. So let me ask a question in order to give the illusion that I actually give a shit. Yeah, uh, what, what we're trying to communicate here really is, is near parody performance. Right. Okay. Now, this is a term that is used as a blatant attempt to mislead consumers because we're really too cheap to improve our product's formulation. Yes, we are. We're trying to kill this brief under the guise of ethics because we, we know we'll never win an award with it. Mm -hmm. Well, look, I mean, the fact of the matter is I, I look at you all as a team. A team of slaves that I can force into doing anything that I want. Obviously. And, and let's go back to the chart. You see, the reason I treat you like shit is because it's my only way of coping, you see, with very low self-esteem due to the fact that I have a really abnormally small penis. Guys, this is the point where I have to stab the creatives in the back and agree with Bob about the brief. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, here, here's a final nail in the creative coffin. You have to use the teddy bear icon. The teddy bear, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's really important to us, the teddy bear icon, because, well, really, it, it allows us to relinquish any sort of responsibility for coming up with a creative, intelligent advertising idea. Yes, it does, and always has. Well, I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, the spot's going to blow anyway because oh, we're big time. we're two untalented hacks riding on the success of a campaign that we lucked into four years ago. Yeah, four. Smell shitty. Oh, big All time. Right. Well, yeah. let's shoot this poop pirate. So, Bob, I'm, I'm trying to act like I'm making a contribution when clearly my role is ill-defined and unnecessary. No, 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 that sounds good, fart catcher. Uh, awkward, uh, uncomfortable drink with a client, anyone? Mm, well, I'd love to, but I, I have to go snort cocaine off a stripper's tits. Thanks, but uh, I'd rather be burned alive. Okay. So, um... I despise you and, uh, and your dope-smoking, um, turtleneck-wearing, dog-licking brethren. Um, your kind totally destroyed our last campaign uh, with their self-indulgent crap, and, and I'm sure that uh, you guys will, will do the same with this one. Okay. Fuck up. Prick. I, uh, I won't return your calls for about a week. Oh, you never do. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Trying to get you fired. Slept with your wife last night. Okay, here's where I tell this really bad off-color joke, and then later on you'll see what a two-faced bastard I am when I shit on your work. <laughs> <laughs> shit on your work. <laughs> you'll have to email me that. It's a good one. Yeah. Fear that makes oh. me laugh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll reread the brief back to you, making no significant insights whatsoever. So... We all agree that I have the skill sets of a grade two student? Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's get to the ideas. Okay, well, these ideas are great. Um, I say that and hope that this uh, submaronic psychology will help influence your decision. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, great. Super. Yeah. So, basically, we've ignored everything you told us and followed our own whims, which really, quite frankly, are really unimaginative. Yeah, if I can just uh, add something here. Now, we knew that uh, you would destroy anything with even a touch of creative vitality, so we've decided to take the easy route. Yes, and I've encouraged their mediocrity every step of the way. Every step. Yeah, so I'd like to... Uh, <clears throat> Bring attention to the product shot again, oh. show you how beautiful it is. Uh, this way I can distract you from the fact that the idea has absolutely no relevance to the brief whatsoever. Mm. Well, that is just super. Okay, super. And you'd think that a comment like that would be followed by a go-ahead, but no. Mm -hmm. uh, I so. was trained in business school to start with something positive and then fuck someone over. Mm. So let's, uh, let's talk specifics. First, I, I'd probably have you come in and do about 20 different variations, okay? Uh, and each time you come in, I change the parameters of the brief. Oh, and then in a couple of months, uh, my boss will come in and see the original work of the campaign on my desk, and he'll say he likes it. And then that'll give me, you see, an opportunity to 
Well, it'll give me an opportunity to shit on the account group because they fail to see the potential in this approach. Okay, well, in the meantime, we'll uh, get a, a junior team to do all the subsequent work. Right. And uh, then we'll mislead you into believing that we're still working on it. And and we'll viciously tear you apart behind your back and throw numerous hissy fits. Oh, lots of hissy fits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'll parrot back your feedback to the creatives and let the whole thing spiral out of control. Okay. Okay, I, I think we're fucked. Oh, we're definitely fucked. fucked. Yeah. It's yeah. fucked. Yeah. 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 So what was it, shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are one fucking idiot. I am pathetic. <laughs> So basically, I thought the best approach would be to repeat exactly what you told me in the first call and shuffle the words around a bit. Wow. If I wasn't such a fucking hack, I'd resent that thinly veiled kowtowing. Um, do you have anything original to say at all? Original? No. But I will make references to German expressionism, uh, use meaningless terms like edgy, and suggest a disgustingly overused blue-green transfer look. Um, I would have mentioned swing and tilt lenses, but I just discovered they went out three years ago. Great. That sounds uh, incomprehensible. I'm going to suggest a change to the treatment to uh, confirm your degree of spinelessness. <sighs> I'll agree to that change and ignore it once I get the job. So you'll be our puppet? Uh, sure, for the most part, just as long as you allow me the illusion of being in control instead of the hack-failed filmmaker that I am. Anton, I'm going to suggest some cost-cutting options in the guise of creative improvements. Oh. Well. That'll further compromise the already hobbled creative. But, uh, you know, I'm so desperate to finish my home renovations, I'll agree. Great. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun producing this blight on our culture. Yeah. I look forward to sleeping with you. Me too. I'd never admit it, but me too. Well, I have to say, creatively speaking, he is the cheapest. Fucking A. German fucking expressionism. Mm. I love it. <coughs> Genius. Hey. Anton. Hey. Mm. How you doing? Hello, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Genius, creative. Hey. I hate your sweater. Mm -hmm. Feel malleable. Good to see you. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Wow. All right. Let's have a look. Suck my big hairy cock. Ah, consider it sucked. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Gotcha. Well, my, my boss should be here any time. It's not like the cocksuckers ever on time for a meeting. <laughs> Hello. Not sorry, I'm late. Oh, that shit's fucked up. Well, I just find that it reasserts my sense of self-importance by wasting everybody else's time. Mm. Well, enough of the cocksucking. I want to take a look at this cut, and then I'll make some jackass comments and leave to play a game of golf. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't the world revolve around your bloated arse? Who the hell are you? <laughs> well, the good thing is, is that I come to this with fresh eyes, which means I've had absolutely no exposure to this process and display zero skills in assessing creative. Okay, well, I'm going to introduce the spot, uh, even though I know that you don't understand or care about anything I'm going to say. I'm going to blab on a little bit about some of the creative choices we tried to make, and then I'm going to list a, a few excuses why it doesn't, you know, why it doesn't look Jive. so good. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to introduce uh, yeah, the director. Yeah, and uh, I'll blame the failure of my direction on technical details like, you know, undone special effects and mm. image quality. <laughs> Boy, did my mind wander. Okay. Well, Boob, what do you think? Oh, I, uh, I, I just shit myself. I, can I see that again? I'd like a little more time to uh, think of a fence-sitting butt weasel comment that would uh, allow me an out, no matter what Mr. McGoohead uh, has to say. 
Can I get a copy of the rough cut? Stick it up your ass, you fuck. It's just that I like making decisions on multi-million dollar campaigns by basing it on what my pea brain disinterested wife thinks about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm off. I've got cable. All hands on dick is on at 7.30. <sighs> this is the last time I wear a thong to these meetings.